If you watch anime at all, you probably have body dysmorphia. So I decided to give you a hit of that body dysmorphia by working out with a real life anime character. And I've brought none other than the Rollick Pump, the real life Toji Fushigoro to take us to a workout. Tell us about yourself, Spencer. Like you said, Rollick Pump over here and I work out to look like Toji or Ace or any anime character who doesn't wear a shirt. And you treat anime conventions as your bodybuilding show, right? Right, because I'm actually not good enough to compete like a real bodybuilder. So what better way to show off my body than going to cons and cosplay? And what are we hitting today? Today we're doing chest and arms. We also got Chili on the side over here. Chili Rex. He's small, he's small, he's small guy, small guy, small guy. And then not only that, we have Chist and Noodles, commander of the quads. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this workout going. Let's go. Yes, we are starting with flat bench. And if you don't want any shoulder injury or pec tears, you gotta make sure you warm up first. So we're gonna start with the bar first. You know, get your muscles used to it. Get the movement down. Let me get my feet right. <laughs> Get in there, man. No, we're not gonna use no leg drive. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Harder, faster. <laughs> Don't miss the rack. <laughs> Don't miss the rack. <laughs> oh my God, it's it's skinny Rex. And nice and slow. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, we the, like that slow look at, burn. Look at the tempo. We like that slow look burn. Yeah. Just like a romance anime. Oh slow burn, God. baby. Ooh, now we got now we got commander of the thighs. Yeah, Bro, this is we're not doing blue lock right now. Can we can, can we bodybuild, Spencer? Please. We're moving up to the 45s to eventually get up to our working sets. And how much are you going up to today? Um, my top set is going to be 255, hopefully, hopefully for five. You said 255. I have my slingshot. 255? 255. 255. I have a poverty bench. Yeah, I ain't to touching that, bro. I ain't touching that, bro. Ooh, see that right there? Light work, baby. Ooh, carrying the plot right now. So when it comes to warm sets, Spencer, how many reps, how many sets you, you think is good or you work with usually? Honestly, man, it's preference. It's based on the individual. For some people, you just need like two, other people need like eight. So you gotta just really listen to your own body. When you're putting together a workout for a particular kind of character you wanna be, is there like any type of theme with your training? Like Toji has really wide back, big shoulders, like? Uh, not necessarily, because if you really look at most anime characters that are jacked, it's usually like, the same body type, broad shoulders, narrow waist, big back, big chest. Oh, and you already have that, so yeah. Yeah. Well, no, not the narrow waist. I was cursed with these. Uh, these voluptuous hips. I was bro. cursed with these childbearing hips. <laughs> <laughs> now, about to do my first working set. So, this is your first working set? Yeah, yeah. So. When you're doing your working sets, are you doing every set you're progressing the weight more and yeah, more? So yeah. you're not doing so straight sets? What I do is basically like a month cycle. So, the first week, I figure out whatever my max weight is on any exercise, three sets of five, but what changes is the percentage of my max rep, my one max rep that I do. So it's 65%, 75%, 85%, five, five, five. So let me take out the calculator to actually figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is 65% of what is now my one max rep. I was cutting for a while because of Anime NYC, so now I'm starting a bulk and I gotta work back my, I gotta work back up to what my strength was previously. Like. This is a very easy set right here. Good up. <laughs> boom, boom. Three. Ooh, Ooh. like that right there. Light work. Ooh. Four. Ooh. Five. Boom. Four. Come one on, more, Chun. one more. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at me, Chun. Now look at him. Now look at me. Now look at him. Look at me. He's a fucking stick. They're this guy's just a old. big ass gorilla, bro. Just a big ass gorilla, and he thinks it's cool. He thinks it's cool, bro. Yo, this barbell weighs more than you. <laughs> so the question is for your next set, your top set, right? Yeah. Are you gonna do an AMRAP, or are you like as many of that rep weight you can, or are you just gonna leave it at five? No, I'm gonna do as many as I can. Okay. If I can get five, I'll be very, very happy, because again, I lost a lot of strength cutting for Anime NYC. Uh, what would you say is the hardest part about preparing for a con as a cosplay character who bodybuilds? Just making sure you're eating right beforehand. 
Because working out is fun. It's the diet that kind of sucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's the part you struggle with a lot? I want to say struggle, but it's the more difficult of the two. Okay. Like you got to do both. But again, working out is fun for me. Dieting, on the other hand, can be annoying. Are we working out here? Are oh, we shut, talking? Shut What's up, going bro. on? Shut up. I'm about to listen. Damn. Don't miss the rack. <laughs> Dude. Ah. Broke a rib. Ah. Oh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, winded, winded. How did that happen? Yo, I could have broke a rib. That's the first time it's ever happened in my life. Right here. I'm gonna do it again. With Spencer watching me. Yeah, I'll actually give you the spot. I I'll actually stop being goofy. Here we go. You ready? There's the five. There's the five. How you feeling, bro? You good? I'm gonna be real. I, I could I could have broke a rib. I'm about to give Chili a lift off. And what's really important here is you're just helping them get it off the rack. All right. Let them bring it above them. You don't need to pull it up and yank them out of their position. You're just helping them get it off the rack. So just like a little bit. I don't need a lift off, but he just, you know, he just gotta give me a lift off, you know. I need a lift off. <laughs> I need a lift off. <laughs> and then if you're getting a lift off, give your spotter a countdown yeah. or something. Three, so two, one. And then he takes it above himself. There you go. One, two. Doesn't even need a lift off. Yeah. You got one more. You got Come one on, more. Shin. You got one more. Push, yeah. push, push, push. Bro said, bro said poverty bench and hit two of the cleanest reps at 225 that I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is this, what is this, mid, huh? One piece is mid. What, what, wow, wow. We're not gonna do that right We're now. We're not doing that in this video. We're not doing that. Yo, one piece is mid, one piece is mid. <laughs> one piece is mid, one piece is mid, one piece is mid, one piece is mid. How tight are we wrapping these wraps right now? Again, it's preference. Some people like it a little bit looser. I like it tighter because I have very dainty wrists, so. And do you use wraps on just bench or do you use it on other things? I use it on any pressing movement and then I also use it on front squats too because just, because you got to put yourself in such a weird position. Go. Got it. Come on, Spencer. One, two, come on, Spencer. Three. Oh my God, is that Toji? Four. I got, it, I got it, I got it. I know you got it, I know you got it. Come on. Five, come on. I got it, I got it. I know, I'm not gonna touch it until you take it. <laughs> I'm doing that again. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Oh, oh. You got another, you got another. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. One more, one more, one more. Let's go, let's go. Push, 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 push. I'm not touching it, I'm not touching it. There you go. Oh my God. Let's go. You know, it's a good bench when you feel it right in the yams. In the yams. <laughs> Spencer, do you think anime motivates you to work out more than anything? Or what's like your big motivation for, for working out? Cosplay. Cosplay? But I mean, that stems from anime, you know? Do you have body dysmorphia? Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> It's crazy how bad it is. Yo, bro, how long is it gonna take you to wrap this nah, thing? I'm trying to be safe out here, dog. Bro, just give up a rib. <laughs> I'm not you, bro. Jesus gave up a rib, just give up a rib, bro. What? No, Adam gave up a rib. Oh, Adam gave <laughs> up a rib. Come on, bro. <laughs> Guy's gonna quote the Toji Bible. Toji knows better know than you. How's that feel, Chin? <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is to improve upon what you did the week prior. Whether it's like more weight, more reps, more sets. Just, you gotta do more, you gotta progress. Push yourself, basically. All right, so what we're doing now, Spencer, we're done with bench. Floor presses. Floor presses? What? Floor presses? I don't know why I came here today, honestly. So this isn't necessarily to like build your chest. I have a very weak bench, with all things considered, and I'm trying to get my, improve my bench. And this is bench floor press or dumbbell floor press? Uh, bench. Another suggestion, get a notebook so you can actually remember what you did the week before. I did 185, two sets, eight and seven. All right. Also, put back your weights. Put back your weights. Are we using them? Well, not those little ones. Not those little ones. Little ones. So I, I do these close grip because this is also like a hybrid tricep exercise too. 
because technically today is really an arm day that starts with bench. But basically you come here and then just push down and push. It's that simple. Kind of arch your back a little bit. Something really important about bench that a lot of new lifters don't know is that you need to have a strong back too, because that's your base. So the stronger your base is, the more weight you can move. So that's why when you do bench or pressing movements, you want to retract your shoulder blades and then bring them down because that will give you your base. Six, seven. Yeah. All right. It's a little, this is such a weird move. It is, right? You got to get used to it. And make sure you're touching your elbows. So how much you're going up to on this, Spencer? So last week I did 185 for a set of two. It was eight reps and seven reps. I'm trying to think, should I go up higher? Like, is this something that I want to do more reps of or more weight of? More reps. You think so? Yeah, yeah okay. So you, so since you're already warmed up from the bench, you're just yeah. going straight into the, okay. It's preference, you know? Like, if you want to do more warm-ups, do more warm-ups. You don't have to do what someone else does if it makes you feel uncomfortable. So you're going to be able to generate more power the more your wrist is above your elbow instead of like this. So like if the weight's here, you don't have anything really directly underneath it to generate the power. But if it's here above your wrist, you got your elbow pushing, you got all this kind of shit. <sighs> okay, so. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's no shit. Uh-huh. Right here, what you Damn. Rex. Naruto's a great romance anime. Bro, rack this. Nice little slow ascension. Come on, Spencer. So tell me about yourself. Uh, you know, I come here, mm -hmm. try to lift, but you know, spend, oh, Brolic Pump, you know, he just wants to make me sad. Mm. Tell us about this bench poverty. All right, you see what they're doing? Don't do that when you're lifting. Don't uh, be talking what? to the guy. We're doing, we're doing, this is, this Disclaimer. Is, do you like having the rep range uh, within the six to 12 rep range, not above yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, okay. it, like, you gotta be fluid when you do this stuff. It doesn't have to be, Okay, starting off, if you're new to the gym, be strict with whatever program you choose to get on. But after you're lifting for a bit, you gotta listen to your body and be like, okay, I haven't been seeing progress doing a shit ton of reps. So let me try increasing the weight instead or oh. vice versa. I haven't seen progress by just going a uh, low amount of reps, high amount of weight, let me try rep. What, so there, there's a bunch of free like beginner programs out there people can do. Do you have any like recommendation that you would tell somebody to look at? Look up JPG coaching. All right, JPG coaching. He's very technical on what he does and he explains why he does it. He's smart, I'm not. How many are you going for? Uh, six to eight. Six to eight on this? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh. Bye, Spence, come on, three more. Come on, Spence. Hey, I can do more. Yeah, of course you can. Nine. One more, one more. Come on. I got it. I know. Oh, but you got another one. Come on. Nah. Nah. No suffering set? Ugh. Show him the chest. Give, give, give us a little- Dude, I feel like I got a small chest, Give, us, give, give us a little flex for the camera. Look at this. Look at the symphony happening right now. Like, I kind of have a shelf a little bit, but I don't know. There you go. Four. Falls at the bottom. There you go. Mad strong. There you go, there you go. Keep going, keep going. Nine. Keep going, keep going. He got easily one more. One more. Let's go for one more. Ride with me, ride with me. Yep, yep, yep. See, honestly, honestly, he would have got at least three more if he didn't have a broken rib. <laughs> The rib is gone, bro. See, if you got a spotter, do what he's doing. Like, push yourself. Like, go to failure. Because you got someone to take it off your chest if need be. I think that's the most limiting factor a lot of people is that no one actually trains near or at failure. So, like, most of their benefits and gains, they don't get because they're not pushing, 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 really. You don't know how hard you're really pushing it until you're working out with somebody to be like, yo, get another one. Yo, I got you. Yeah. This, this man, Spencer, said we're going to hit the gym all chest, no legs, bro. Mm -hmm. All his Kanye, bro. I'm not doing legs the same day I do chest. Are you kidding me? Look at look at this. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to unlock these. So y'all got two more sets to do. Huh? <laughs> Alright, Spencer, we're moving on till now. 
All right, last pressing movement. We're doing close grip incline press with dumbbells. Three presses. Three presses. How else do you build your chest? Chest flies. I don't like flies. You don't like flies? Flies bad for your shoulder for you? For me. Okay, and why incline dumbbell press? Because I'm trying to work on my triceps more, practice my push movement, hit my chest. This is really my supplement chest day. Like my real chest day is on uh, Tuesdays. How many reps are you gonna go for on this? Uh, last week I did seven. So let's see if I can do eight. Yeah, I can do eight. Oh yeah, Chili, come on. Not even All right, so Chili did 16. You gotta be Chili, bro. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that rib. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at that, yeah. Also, if you want to see a leg workout with Spencer, leave a comment down below. We'll have a leg workout for the next one, if we get enough comments, but, all right. Ah. Look at the sweat. Look at, yeah, look see at this? No. <laughs> Sometimes you got an ego lift, bro. You got to have fun at the gym. I mean, if you're, if you're going to be doing <laughs> curls, yeah. if you're going to be doing curls and you're freaking. Bro, we are doing cheat curls after this. <laughs> all right, Spencer, 100 pounds, each arm. <sighs> there we go. Rollick fucking pump, let's go. Come on. You got it, that's all you, that's all you. There's, all right, now adjust yourself. There you go. Oh shit. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. there we go. God, that was five? Yeah, that was five. So what is your whole week of training? How many days are you training? What's going so, on? So since I'm trying to gain muscle, I'm only going five days a week. So I take Mondays and Fridays off. Basically, if you start the week off on Saturday, it's what we're doing today. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be doing deadlifts and then like with some abs and calves. Tuesday, another chest day with either triceps or biceps, depending on how I feel. Wednesday is going to be front squats, uh, a lot of quad work. And then Thursday, since my shoulders and back are kind of developed already, I just do those both once a week on the same day because I'm trying to bring up my weaker body parts. So to simplify the week, is it upper, lower, upper, lower, upper? Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then upper sprinkle some lower. abs in there. Sprinkle some abs in every day? Okay. So Spencer, we've done three benching movements and this is what the last part of our workout? Yeah, yeah, now we're finishing with biceps. Biceps and just biceps? Just else? biceps. Okay, how many sets of biceps? Uh, we're gonna do two exercises 20. of biceps and then we're gonna feel out the sets. Okay. Oh, we're doing curls in the rack, a cardinal sin. Yeah, well, no one else is here, so. And this guy, what the fuck are you doing? Yo, people say, oh no, sumo. I hate this guy, I hate this guy so much. Oh my God, we got the, we got the tandem bicep curls happening right now? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The back to back. <laughs> oh, yo, he is pushing me. <laughs> little, little bro and big bro. You see this? My brother. This is Toto and Itadori right here. This is this is Toto and this is Toto and Itadori right here. Who needs a machine press when you got the the, the assisted pulley? <laughs> yeah, but now I'm gonna test him a little bit. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Spencer. Come on. Ah. Oh, hell no. He's re the reveal! Wait, watch out for the mic. Ah, you're right. <sighs> nice and air. Oh. Chin. We're too fat. We're not doing too that. Fat. We're not doing that. This is what the women want. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Spencer. <sighs> yeah. Oosh. <sighs> Oosh. All right. And this is our final bicep movement. Final right? bicep movement. Basically, it's a preacher curl. Given my height, this actually sets up real perfect. Really squeeze at the top. And Spencer's so jacked, the fucking camera can't focus on him. Come on, Spencer. Yeah. Normally, I would do this in a fucking preacher curl machine, but this works, so you don't gotta be limited by the gear. I like this better than a preacher curl machine because you can, you don't have to like, I like it better. And he's eating Rice Krispies. He's eating Rice Krispies <laughs> after the workout? I'm trying to get that glycogen. All right, replenish it. Say if like your arms are too long for the preacher curl, you can adjust it better here instead of trying to adjust it on the preacher curl. You can also do these ones if you want to do like both arms at the same time. 
Uh, this really makes sure that you can't like cheat your shoulders. That's really good. Oh yeah. And you can do this on a preacher curl bench. You just turn around in the seat instead. Oh. So that is what a day with an anime character is like in the gym, as you can see. Pumped! Rollick Pumped. Achieve. <laughs> At Rollick Pump on Instagram and everywhere. But Spencer, you got any closing words? If you want to go to the gym, just show up to the gym. It doesn't matter if you know what you're doing. You can just hop on YouTube, find something. But the most important thing, like literally, is just show up.